Hi everyone, hope you had a great weekend. It's meet around with just Matt Gray. We have some fog that has developed around the area and it looks like it is going to be a foggy night for some areas, especially around Spokane and onto the West Plains. We're still going to see some flurries around the Palouse, the Camas Prairie, and the LC Valley as we head into your Monday. A little sunshine coming in as well and that is going to be a little bit of a difference for the middle of the week where it gets cloudy again. Temperatures are going to be turning bitterly cold very soon. Already is going to be a little bit colder tonight as we're down into the mid-20s in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, down into the teens in places like Colville and Winthrop, and just above freezing for a low in Lewiston. Our day starting off with fog, it's going to end with fog, but there is some sunshine in the afternoon. Pretty similar forecast to what we have seen through much of the region on Sunday and a little bit drier for our friends to the south. 30 in Spokane, 32 for Coeur d'Alene for a high, so already a little bit cooler than what we've seen the past couple of days. And it's just going to be keep getting colder and colder and colder after that. Some weak systems moving through Tuesday into Wednesday. It'll have to give us a slight chance for a couple of flurries. Mostly, though, it is about fog and chilly temperatures for the first half of the week. Second half of the week, skies clear out a little bit. Some more Arctic air comes down because we have so much snow on the ground. We're not going to get a lot of heat during the afternoons. And that means our temperatures have the potential to become very, very very cold as we head into Friday and into the weekend. We're thinking at least single digits above zero, but we could be looking at sub-zero conditions as early as the weekend, or perhaps even at the start of next week around the metro. So break up the big heavy coats and get ready for sort of the chilliest weather we have seen so far this season, because it's only just a few days away. We'll keep you updated on the temperatures and how things are going to go at KXLY.com and the 4 News Now YouTube channel and KXLY Plus streaming service. I'll talk to you again later. We'll see you with the next update Monday morning.